Hi, my name is Dr. Seamus Maragic. I am in the central Bosnian town of Visoko, the Bosnian Valley of the Pyramids. Our good friend Jiri has been coming year after year following the progress on our locations. This is a new location which we named Ravne 3 Tunnels. In July of 2018, I purchased 5,000 square meters of land that was neglected forest. We started clearing it, starting building the road, and uh, once we were doing that, we noticed those conglomerate blocks. I remember 14 years back, the year of 2005, when I was looking for the entrance to the Ravne tunnels, to the tunnels under the Bosnian pyramid. Exactly the same rock was 300 meters from here across the valley. At that time everybody called that natural cave. I went inside, I realized it was not natural, we started clearing and today we have more than two and a half kilometers of cleared prehistorical tunnels around there. Now we are at the same level, same elevation, 484 meters above the sea level. Rane tunnels and those rocks here. We started clearing and we discovered the entrance to more tunnels and cavities here. Since we encountered this big rock which was sitting on four smaller plates, we realized somebody closed this tunnel. We started clearing another potential entrance and today this entrance is known as C3 entrance and we discovered 65 meters of open tunnels which moves in direction east-west and a few meters to the north and few meters to the south. So discovery of those tunnels happened back in August of 2018 exclusively with our volunteers from all over the world. Immediately we started finding artifacts. Big ceramic pieces, pottery, some hand tools and with the time Deep in the tunnels we discovered stalactites and stalagmites. Now stalagmites can be dated through the radiocarbon dating process. So we cut a piece of stalagmite almost all the way to the bottom. We sent it for the analysis in a radiocarbon lab in Kiev. The result 26,200 years plus minus 250 years. We go back for more than 26,000 years. Now, since we did not <coughs> actually use the whole piece, the base is still here, that would add another two, 3,000 years. So this way we are coming to 30,000 years before present on radiocarbon date. The calibrated date is about 15% more, which is about 34,000 years, which is exactly the date of the Rane tunnels and the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. Another proof that we are talking about the same network of tunnels, which is the oldest prehistorical tunnel network in the world. Now, what we are interested in is this direction, north, south. Why? Because it is parallel with the Ravne tunnels. Eventually, they are going to meet and then continue together towards the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. Now, between Ravne 3 and Ravne tunnels, there is a big valley which is today known under the name Park Rane 2. How come we have this big valley? Well the valley is north-south direction. 12,000 years back with the end of the last ice age, huge catastrophes, huge water movement, the floodway is coming from the north to the south, destroying the part of the tunnel network, leaving some tunnels on one side of the valley and another one on the other side. This was very important discovery. Why? Not because we have proven the extreme age, but also there are some people back 10-15 years ago who were claiming that I'm digging the tunnels, that the tunnels was dug by Yugoslav army in the 20th century, or that the tunnels belong to the medieval times. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Here, in this network of tunnels, we are discovering artifacts that belong to the late Middle Age, early Middle Age, Byzantine times, ancient Roman times, 
at Neolithic times, going back thousands of years ago. In the Rarnia Three Talents we are discovering a lot of bones from the smaller animals. For example, we are discovering the bones from the fox, from the badger, from the wild cat, from the forest hedge, and of course a lot of chicken and poultry. It seems that through the little holes those animals were getting in, or maybe dogs or foxes were bringing the very tasty meals for themselves. Some of those animals, they've been extinct for a longer time from this area. Another proof of extreme age of the Rarnia Three Tunnels. In the Rarnia Three Tunnels we have the same scenario like in the Rarnia Tunnels. Somebody brought filler material filling the tunnels. However, one section was open for about 65 meters in direction east-west. In that particular section, we have been finding in the period from August of 2018 until September of 2019 more than 3,100 artifacts. Most of those pieces are smaller pottery pieces. But the pottery is dark, brown, gray, red, meaning it belongs to different periods of times. Some of them are ornamental pieces from the ancient Roman times. So, it tells us about activities through different cultural layers. Now, we are organizing an exhibition, a museum exhibition in 2019 of all these pieces that we discovered because we want to show the public you know, what has been discovered. Sometimes we are finding metal pieces, also very important, from different ages. Archaeological Park Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun Foundation is the only example of the organization who is running large-scale archaeological project in the world using professionals and non-professionals. We invite everyone who wants to join us. We call them volunteers. In the period from 2010 to 2019, we have had over 3,650 volunteers from 63 countries who have become a part of the discovery. People who have been finding concrete blocks on the Sun Pyramid, prehistorical tunnels, artifacts, organic materials, they are part of the discovery. Nobody else is offering them that. As a matter of fact, when I purchased the land, when I realized that we most probably have tunnels here, I asked volunteers to have the opportunity to actually discover a new network of the tunnels. And this is what this flag is symbolizing. The volunteers who are actually conquering the pyramids, conquering this ancient knowledge. In uh, summer of 2018, when we discovered the tunnels, we had just a uh, cavity here and the entrance was free, actually, for everyone. In the meantime, uh, winter of 2018, 2019, we built this concrete frame, doors, we lock when we are not here. So, this is the entrance to the round tunnel that we discovered. And in the meantime, we started uh, working on our safety. So, we have safety wooden support just for everyone to be secure, the volunteers, the researchers, the visitors. And from here, we will be entering the east-west tunnel, which was open section for about 65 meters. At the end of this section, there is an intersection going to the left and to the right. But right now, it's been filled with a lot of bigger rocks. So what we want to do, we want to remove all the layers of the material that we are discovering here so people can come with the wheelbarrows and remove that material. We are also clearing both tunnels to the north and to the south. So, so far we have a total of 130 meters of open tunnels. So we are coming to direction east-west. This is west. When we came here, we had the layers of soil here, about 40 centimeters, which we have removed in the meantime. And we are entering this open section. Now, the layers of soil was originally about 40 centimeters thicker, higher than the ground that I'm standing on right now. 
This ground is actually clay. This is like a natural flooring. So we had layers of soil, and in the soil we've been discovering thousands of smaller artifacts. This here is one of our first archaeological trenches, or sondas, and it remained here because we wanted people to see the original height of the layer and how much material we had to remove. In that material, we've been discovering artifacts from different periods of times. So, uh, the way you are working on sondas, you open them, let's say, one meters by one meters, and then slowly you are removing the layers looking for artifacts. Of course, those who are closer to the top, they are younger. When you go deeper, they are much older, and so on. So, most of the material have been removed by now during our archaeological season, February 2019, September 2019. So it is more comfortable to walk here. So let's walk a little bit. Now, this is perfect example of what we do here and what was originally. This is the original level. On this level, we can see stalagmites above stalactites. Stalactites you cannot date, but stalagmites you can. So, by removing the whole stalagmites, you can figure out the exact age from the time when the stalagmites started to be formed. It doesn't mean that this is the age of cavity or the tunnels. It can be older than that. But based on what we have so far, the age of 26,000, plus the base, couple of thousand, plus some time until the surface is getting prepared, getting ready for stalagmite to be formed. So we are talking about 35,000 years. So interesting thing is that this section of the tunnels, Ramna 3, are explaining us or confirming the extreme age of the Ramna tunnels. So, this particular tunnel continues in another 35 meters, and at the end, it's T, intersection. One tunnel going to the left, one going to the right. So, our goal is to clear most of this tunnel here, so we can move in with the wheelbarrows, and we can start clearing the intersection, and hopefully we can enter the tunnel that will lead us to the south. I don't know if it's going to be open or not, but I'm hoping that by clearing that tunnel, which runs parallel with the Rana tunnels, eventually we're going to meet somewhere half a kilometer or one kilometer down the road. So very exciting times with this discovery. The foundation has been buying lands, its own properties, in the last few years. We discovered two more entrances to the tunnels what we call Rame 2 tunnels, and healing tunnels. So now, out of four tunnels, <coughs> three tunnel entrances are on our land. And it is really the game changer. Before we had to ask for permissions from the government or the, from the private landlords, but now we are working on our land, and with full responsibility, we can, you know, organize archaeological digging in the proper way, using scientific methodology, and we can take care of security and safety in those tunnels. In the two millions. Mm -hmm. um. All right, uh, Rabne three tunnels, we are moving towards the south. This is the section that we cleared back in the winter and spring of 2019 and continued in summer of 2019. Here we can see the wooden support just to make sure that everything is safe, that the ceiling will not fall. So, this is the filler material. So here we can see soil, we can also see clay, and some of the rocks and pebbles. It's a very similar scenario in the Ravne tunnels. Now, the temperature is very pleasant. The temperature is about 14 degrees, which almost matches the temperature in the Ravne tunnels. We have measured the concentration of negative ions. As you know, negative ions are very beneficial to human health. More negative ions, better for us. 
Why? Because the negative ions, they clear the atmosphere by connecting with the dust in the air, and they fall, they drop on the ground. Negative ions raise the level of oxygen in our body. Negative ions remove viruses and bacteria from our body. In our homes, very low concentrations of negative ions. About 100 negative ions per cubic centimeter. We go to downtowns of the big cities, 250 negative ions per cubic centimeters. Villages, 400. Uh, this winter, 2019, we measured the concentration on the two most famous Bosnian mountains, Igman and Bielašnica. The concentrations were in the pine tree forest between 700 and 900 negative ions per cubic centimeter. In the Ravne tunnels, 20,000 plus. In the Ravne three tunnels, here about 10,000. So 10,000 is the healing level. So I believe as you go deeper, the concentration levels will become higher and higher. So we're going to get another healing destination here in the Bosnian Valley of the pyramids. A few more meters in this southern direction. Two things what we do, wooden support and the lights, LED lights. So, fall and winter 2019-2020, we are going to focus in this section because here we can clearly see that uh, we got filler material and that the tunnels are going in this direction. So we will be focusing actually on several areas, this one and east-west and then from the west try to get to the south many exciting moments in front of us. Thank you to our friends from Czech Republic, from Slovakia, people who are dedicated to Bosnian pyramids keep coming back, bringing a lot of people, and we want to share, to share this knowledge and this excitement and the benefits of the place with all of them. Thank you. God bless.